नमस्कार हूँ आदर्श चु आदर्श एजुकेशन सोसाइटी वेलकम्स यू ऑल हियर डियर स्टूडेंट फ्रेंड्स लेट्स मो हैड विद द पोएम अ टाइगर इन द जू यू हैव सीन टाइगर ऑन सो मेनी चैनल्स इन फोटोग्राफ्स इन जू एट्सेट्रा दिन वाई द पोएट हैज गिवन अ पोएम बेस्ड ऑन द टाइगर दैट वुड बी अ क्वेश्चन इन आर माइंड नेचुरली इट शुड बी बट द थिंग इज वॉट द पोएट हैज गिवन दिस टाइटल explanation very perfectly that whenever you are with a tiger the tiger is in the zoo is different if the tiger is out the zoo out of the zoo that tiger is different the tiger in the zoo is different the tiger out of zoo is different to explain this idea the poet has given this poem based on this poem poet leslie norris wants to prove that we should be always careful against animal cruelty actually we are used to have without any classification no caste no creeds we don't have mercy towards animals and so that we are having cruelty towards animals in your social also it is told to you why you kill the animals why you kill the birds two reasons are there either to prove your supremacy over the animals and birds or to prove your capacity or to prove your hobby either hobby or your supremacy what is this this is not the real reality of the life and yet we are there with animal cruelty based on this you should prepare one as a animal cruelty please prevent animal cruelty you see here this poem contrast a tiger in the zoo with the tiger in its natural habitant the word is used here habitant residence where he dwells lives and that is the wood the forest this poem moves from zoo to jungle this poem moves from the zoo to the jungle it's very easy to have selfie with tiger in the zoo it's very tough to have selfie with the tiger from the jungle from the forest and back again in the zoo starts from the zoo moves to the jungle and once again comes back to zoo I read this poem silently once and say which stanza speaks about the tiger in the zoo and which stanza speaks about the tiger in the jungle this is a poem where contradiction is given one thing is based on wood forest jungle another picture is with the zoo you see here in this poem only
he stocks in the vivid stripe vivid means different stripes you know it well linings this would be on the body figure of the tiger he stalks walks in his vivid stripe with this body figure where he walks the few steps of his cage suppose that suppose cage is this much then he walks here only this many few steps or in this way you would have seen this condition in Zuckerberg zoo junagad also the few steps of his cage with his vivid stripe on body walks inside on pads of velvet quiet when you will touch the body figure of tiger you will feel velvet touch due to fur and on pads of on his body figure on his physique, on his existence, she will feel velvet touch. And in his quiet rage, two different ideas are given there. One is quiet, another one is rage, that is anger. Anger cannot be quiet, yet it is given, quiet anger. This is for the zoo. Now, second paragraph. If you will go to the forest, what will you see there? You see here, what he has explained, that is for the zoo as well as for the forest. He should be lurking in shadow, lurking who is ready to attack. who is re ready to attack in shadow and that is quietly. Cat, tiger, leopard, such wild animals are there, domestic animals are there. They are used to attack always in shadow how shadow is moving ahead like that very very quietly they are used to attack sliding through long grass the word is used here sliding sliding means moving from here to here to here through the long grass long grass is equal to forest is equal to wood. Where the tiger is moving near the water hole, forest near under, kitlak natural, kitlak artificial, water point banava maavela hoisha for birds and animals. 
અને આ જ જગ્યા હોય છે વેર સચ વાઇલ્ડ એનિમલ્સ વિલ રોમ હિયર એન્ડ ધેર સાયલેન્ટલી થ્રુ ધ લોંગ ગ્રાસ સો દેટ પ્લમ્પ ડિયર વેર પ્લમ્પ ડિયર પ્લમ્પ ડિયર પાસ હવે જે વોટર પોઈન્ટ મૂકેલા હોય છે ત્યાં ડોમેસ્ટિક એનિમલ્સ વાઇલ્ડ એનિમલ્સ કોઈ પણ પાણી પીવા માટે આવે તો દેટ વુડ બી ધ રાઇટ ટાઈમ ટુ ગેટ ધ હન્ટ સો દેટ વેરી નિયર ટુ ધ વોટર હોલ ટાઈગર વિલ વિલ બી દેર ઇન ધ વુડ એન્ડ દેટ વુડ બી ધ વેટિંગ ફોર પ્લમ્પ ડિયર પ્લમ્પ શબ્દ છે સારો શબ્દ છે અહીંયા આપણે હેલ્ધી એવો એનો મિનિંગ લઈશું એકચુઅલી હી શી એની વન ઇન્કલુડિંગ એનિમલ તમે ડ્રમ જોયું હશે જેમાં આપણે પાણી ભરીએ છીએ એવું ડ્રમ like that some are having their body figure gujarati mein ani mate no ek shabd che gol motol upar thi niche sudhi gol 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 would not be with height but would be fit with short height that is known as plump here we will think plump is equal to healthy uh, this word is used in language english language with this characteristic okay up to this extent we will keep second part of this poem 